Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here, and we're going to use the elimination method. And so let's begin. And so here I see this is a 3x, but this is an x. And if I want this to be a negative 3x, I need to multiply the entire equation by negative 3. So x times negative 3 will give us negative 3x. Negative 3 times y will give us negative 3y is equal to 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now this piece will keep it the same, so times 1. And we're going to get 3x plus 3y is equal to 12. At this point, we'll combine negative 3x plus 3x is 0x, or 0, it gets eliminated. Negative 3y plus 3y is 0y, so it gets eliminated, and is equal to negative 12 plus 12 is 0. So we have 0 is equal to 0, which is a true statement. And so we'll say we have infinitely many solutions. And so this right here is our final answer. And so what exactly does this mean? Let's say, for example, I say x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, then y would equal to 3. Now, this has to be true for both the first and the second equation. Obviously, the first one works. 1 plus 3 is 4, but let's try the second one. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 3 times 3 is 9, 3 plus 9 is 12. That's correct. However, I can change it. I can say x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 4. And so if I put a 0 here, 0 plus 4 is 4. That's correct. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 3 times 4 is 12, that's correct. And so there's infinitely many solutions. Now, let's say, for example, I say x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. That won't be correct because 1 plus 2 is not 4, it's 3. And if you want more practice, check out the description box.